What's up, Design Peeps? So we are going live again with Design Talk. Uh, today we have on special guest uh, Donna Moss in our episode number seven. And Donna's joining me right now. So let's get her on here. And to kind of recap, so today you guys get to interview Donna yourselves. So um, Donna's going to be joining us. And you guys will be able to call in and talk directly with Donna Mott. Hi. Hey, Donna. <laughs> that was much easier. <laughs> we did it. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe yeah. that. <laughs> well, hello. Uh, yay, you're on. Uh, <laughs> only, so, only 15 uh -huh. minutes late, but better late than never, right? You know what? So Facebook Live, uh, literally last night, they added new things. Oh, well, that, um, no wonder, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, um, they, before, in order to add a person on, you had to, it was kind of even more complicated. Now they added this little middle button and made it kind of easier. How <laughs> but it was dare a change. them? How so, dare them? Yeah. They did that to me on purpose because so. they knew I was going to be here today. <laughs> probably, probably did um so so for uh, we already have uh people watching and we already have people looking to call in so people are super eager to talk with you um <laughs> no so it's all about you, you joseph it's all about you <laughs> <laughs> so um can you give people kind of a little a little uh rundown on uh, Donna Moss. Oh, I have just said, have such a boring life. I don't know if there's anything to say. What What do I say? <laughs> well, let's see. Most well, people you... most people know me as the Queen of Bling. So I have a little crown here, just just in case you forgot. Actually, this is on top of a gift. That's right by where I'm sitting. I don't really carry a crown around with me all the time. <laughs> Although I should, I should. But yeah, so so you know, I am been in the interior design business for many many years I don't want to say how many because you know then I'd have to kill you but uh, my husband and I have been in the building interior design business for a long time and because of that um, I actually was chosen to be on the very first season of HGTV's show called Design Star don't know if you ever saw it but it was pretty cool yeah I brought a prop okay so, Design Star. Does that show backwards? Anyway, so yeah, this, it always the, does. this was the first season of Design Star, the cast. That's me in the pink. And David Bromstead, he's the one that won the season that I was on. So he got his own TV show. That was, nice. that was the competition. We all went to New York and um, lived in a townhouse on the Upper East Side somewhere and did different challenges. And whoever won got their own TV show. So I didn't win, but I ended up with my own TV show anyway. So, and I got to do it my way, so that was even better. That's even better. Yeah. I know, um, so you know Dan Foley. Yeah. And, uh, and we, were, we were talking about that same thing, about how, uh, HGTV and the networks, they're, they're all about the ratings and about getting, so they put you through challenges and make you sweat a little bit and, uh, a lot. And it's, it's <laughs> yeah, it's for the homeowner, for the person sitting at home watching TV. And it's not necessarily the real life of a designer. Um, oh. it's kind of made for TV. It was, for, yeah, yeah, for sure. It, it's, it's fun. It's fantasy. It's not. It's not real, um, although, you know, with, uh, with us, you know, being the first season in a new concept show like that, you know, we just, we were ourselves. We didn't know what was, what to expect, what to do, you know, and, uh, you know, they didn't sit around like, I think a lot of the reality shows, not design reality, but a lot of them sit around and get their cast members drunk so they do crazy things but you know we were just you know doing doing our thing trying to really yeah. need to it wouldn't really need much persuasion on my part <laughs> i just kind of when, when people ask what i do out on the road i'm pretty much just party with my friends so <laughs> that's the best way to live your life yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. So, so so i started out on design star started my kind of HGTV career, I guess you could say, with, with that. And then a few years later, I um, ended up with my own show called Donna Decorates Dallas. 
And uh, so that, that we did for two years, 35 episodes, I believe, um, so, something like that. Um, just because cause, uh, on Design Talk, we kind of get real with shit. Uh, so uh, you shared before, uh, what was HGTV's uh, title for the show? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to bring that up? <laughs> I can't believe they have writers that actually say this kind of shit. But. Well, well, okay, you have to, you know, back then, um, shows like Property Virgin and all these, you know, little sexual induendos, in, is that how you say it? I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah. so, so, you know, I had a store um, for 10 years here in the Dallas area called That's Hot, and it's H-A-U-T-E. And uh-huh. uh, so that's hot was the name. So, you know, when we started, you know, coming up with titles for the name of the show, I wanted to name it like the house of hot or that's hot. But of course, Paris Hilton owns the phrase that's hot, but hers is H O T. So, so they liked the idea of that name, but they were afraid Paris Hilton might sue us. But anyway, so all these men, I guess, in HGTV, whoever was, you know, the, my, so, the producer of my show called me one day and she's like, okay, Donna, they've come up with a name, a title, a title for your show. Are you sitting down? I'm like, oh no, that was first, you know, (laughs) I knew there was going to be trouble. So, so they had come up with a name and, you know, I don't know how many people remember the, the other show, but they wanted to name this Donna does Dallas. And I don't know if you remember Debbie, but I'm not Debbie. (laughs) (laughs) But it's funny. I can't believe I know. I can't believe a network would come up with that. That's well, I, so horrible. Well, I could understand <laughs> Bravo or somebody, but this is HGTV. So, so anyway, I said, uh-uh, nope, nope. My kids are in the show. My husband's in the show. That's so. So we we ended up call, you know negotiating, and it was like I said, I'll do Donna decorates Dallas, Donna designs Dallas, just not. Does yeah, dollars, no, but no, I have no. people come up to me now and say, "Oh, wait, you're Debbie, aren't you?" Oh no! <laughs> no, I'm the other oh, one. No. I'm the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So for the people, because people will play this back and watch it later. Oh no! And when <laughs> when you first said that uh, Donna decorates Dallas, I smirked and held back a laugh <laughs> because I knew the background story. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for, so. <laughs> so for people that are watching, and we got uh, 22 people on right now. Hi, and, all 22 uh, of you. To, yeah, people are looking to join on the conversation. And, you know, so people look at HDTV, and there's a lot of, like, kind of, um, well, there's just a lot of stuff that people really don't know. Uh, people don't know naming conventions like that and how that whole process goes. They, uh, they'll watch it on TV and they'll see like the, you know, the, the uh, DIY segments and the, you know, these little challenges you guys do. And um, shoot, they'll even look at the, the houses when it's all done and they sit there going like, well, how did they get the concrete to set? And how did they get the paint to dry that quickly? And, um, and the, the, the background story is like, those things take forever. Those are, those are months worth of filming. Um, shoot. Some of uh, some of that, most of that is just props. It's not even like a, a, a yeah. Real thing. Well, 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 and for us, you know, on now on Donna decorates Dallas. That was different because we actually these were real clients paying for real makeovers. So so those you know and you know an episode could take six weeks for us to you know but we were we were filming so many episodes you know 15 per season so you know we'd film a little bit at this house and a little bit at that and a little bit of that we might go to we might film six six different shows or six different days in one day and of course that was a lot of outfit changes for me (laughs) because it did have to look like you know every day was a new day so I, I changed clothes but but now on shows like uh, design star the competition type shows now and on those episodes there were times when we'd do a makeover and at and the kitchen what one of the ones we did was a kitchen in long island and it was done like in one day one afternoon basically gutted and redone we, i think we spent one night 
there. And I swear when we left, cabinets were falling off of walls. The, the countertop wasn't secure. And these were, oops. Sorry, wasn't me. I knocked the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fall, just my phone. Uh, but anyway, well, so. And, and just a heads up for people while you guys are watching. So the format today is a little bit different, and I'm calling this uh, designer chats. It's a new kind of a format, and I don't know if you caught, but today's my birthday. <gasps> so Happy I got all the birthday! <laughs> okay, and look, yeah. look, I have champagne. See, okay. Oh man! Cheers to you. <laughs> and I had to do, I had to do a little DIY thing. So you know, it's Christmas, as you can see, the Christmas tree. But this is a good little idea for people. I glue. I will take a bottle of champagne and glue a brooch on it and then sign my name. And that, that's oh, a, cool. a good way. That's a good way to give a gift because then they always know it's from you and they've got that special crown, but cheers to you. Happy birthday. I have one for yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't normally drink <laughs> champagne at 10 o'clock in the morning, but you know, for you and your birthday, here we go. Whiskey, Whiskey and some coffee in it. <laughs> Well, I have the coffee too, so I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a little confused today, well, but, so, but if Kathy, Kathy Lee and Hoda uh, can have champagne in the mornings, oh, I can too, for your birthday. Happy birthday. Are you 29? Yeah. I am the big 4-0 today. Happy birthday. You're over the hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you, no. you're, you're really my, under my the hill. My oldest turns 20 in January. Oh, is it that so. scary? Yeah. How can they do that to us? They just yeah. make it. That's just not right. Kids should stop aging at 20. I always like to tell my mom. <laughs> yeah, I always like to tell my mom, she got older. <laughs> well, I, not necessarily me. But <laughs> well, I, I started having kids when I was two. So when they're 20, I'm just 22, right? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It's a miracle you know? of nature, but, you know, it could happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, so on today's format, we're going to kind of talk a little bit, kind of uh, get introed, and then um, then we were going to have you exit out, and then people could call So in you're going to kick me off the talk. show. I get a it. A little bit, a little <laughs> bit, yeah. But it'll give people the opportunity to call in and ask you the uh, questions that they have. Um Again, this this uh, format was kind of uh, I watch a lot of like interviews happen, and so I get to have all the fun, but the audience is just sitting there typing away, trying to ask questions. Yeah, because I see Donna's and... on there. Hi, Donna. Hi, Tina. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of just being, you know, re uh, um, kind of resorted just texting. Um, I figured why not just have them on and have them ask the questions themselves. That way they get to be the interviewers. Um, I'm, I'm, um, so I've been in this industry for 18 years. And in the last 18 years, for the 18 years I've been in it, this is an industry. And there's a, like a lot of, you know, keeping trade secrets to ourselves. And, oh, yeah. and in the, in the, yeah, and in the last couple of years, <laughs> I keep hearing the word community. Uh. And if it's a community then it should be people asking questions and talking, and there should be more of a free exchange of, of information. So, so that's kind of what, you know, I'm gunning for here is uh, well, through, the, uh, through Design Wall platform. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, I, I agree. It just seems like it used to be that even within the, the design community, everyone was separate and secret, and they, nobody wanted to, you know, the, the other designers were your enemy. But, but now, you know, I'm finding, like, with this uh, traditional home show house that we just did, we really had a community of designers that, that I love, all of them, and I, I knew I, very few of them when we first started, but, but I see more and more the community of designers coming together and learning and sharing and just having fun. You know, it's like a family now. Well, and you're friends with uh, Kelly Ellis, right? Yes. So, I don't know her um, real well, but I've met her a time or two, and she's adorable. Yeah, and Kelly uh, Kelly likes to say that, like, so just a few years ago, you'd go to a, a, um, a showroom, 
And the designers are like, don't look at my stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is mine. He has questions. It was like at a lot of being at a library. And now you go and people are willing to help you out. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I do kitchens and baths and you're working on this project. Let's work together. And there's a lot more kind of working together. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if that's social media or if that's just the industry kind of pushing each other into each other. But, um, but you know what? Um, that's great. It's great. We can start to learn from each other and, and learn faster. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I really focused on a lot of these community type things of let's get talking, you know? So, so yeah. Um, now you mentioned the, uh, showcase house. Can you share more info about that? Oh, that was amazing. I wish you could have made it to see the, the house, Joseph, because it was so cool. We had 24 different designers. Now, not necessarily 24 different areas of the house, but it was the house was about 8,000 square feet. My husband and I built it. And then I, was, I designed the indoor kitchen and the outdoor mm -hmm. kitchen and a little hallway. But we had different designers. Some were individuals like Dan Foley. Um, and others were groups like blueprint had like, I think six girls in their, in their group, but, um, they all did a different area of the show house. And, and it was, you know, we built it to be, you know, we love California. So we kind of, the, the plan we designed was kind of a California contemporary, very open, uh, beautiful. And our biggest fear of course, was these designers would come in and because each one could do whatever they wanted. We couldn't, you know. I think that one we might have lost you. Oh, there you are. There you are. Uh, well, I can't see you. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. I talk with my hands so much, and then with these things, I'm. <laughs> anyway, we, we're our biggest fear was that the house was going to look so you know, uh, nothing would flow, and but and we. The only, the only thing I shared with the designers basically that I was using amethyst, which I love that Pantone. Um, their color of the year is that ultraviolet. Huh. So, so it worked very well with my colors because my, my theme, you know, was amethyst because that's the color. Purple is the color of the Alzheimer's Association, the show house, the charity uh, that, that uh, the proceeds of, you know, all the different things that we did. In fact, they got almost 100000 We raised almost $100,000 for the Alzheimer's nice. with that show Good house. God. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, their theme color was purple. But but my, my thing was, you know, I was worried that all the designers would do something crazy in each room and everything wouldn't flow. But, you know, somehow or another, everything flowed beautiful. There were a lot of so many unique designs. And I love the fact that wallpaper and very graphic wallpapers are, are, are back in style. And, you know, it just it was a fun project. And traditional home was amazing to work with. And the Alzheimer's Association was, too. And uh, it was just, you know, kind of a dream come true. And so now, because of the show house, I'm actually going to be in the construction business myself. So I'll break ground next month on my very first uh, construction project. Yeah, so you were sharing a little bit about that. So your husband is uh, in construction or a developer? Uh, he's both. He's more of a, you know, commercial real estate developer, shopping centers, uh, uh, things like that. In fact, I had a store for 10 years. That's hot. I told you about before. And so it was in the shopping center that he built. And uh, so he does more commercial. He likes commercial better than residential. And so, you know, I had to kind of pull him into this project with traditional home kicking and screaming because he's like, oh, no, it's too much work. <laughs> oh. But he, he, he had fun and uh, we all had fun. And and it kind of launched me into a, another segment of my life. It's like I'm always trying different things, learning different things from the design business, the TV, the retail store, and now construction. So it's like, hmm, okay. I'll well, that <laughs> will be fun. Um, I've got sure. friends that have uh, personal, uh, they, they develop uh, residential properties and their own kind of master planned um uh, uh, housing tracks and communities. And then uh, when you get to that point, I know the VP of development for Brookfield Homes and the VP for uh, Irvine Company. So ah. um, maybe we can hook something yeah. up there. Yeah, we, we, we got to talk, Joseph, because I, I, yeah. I would love to personally have a home in California somewhere, anywhere. I don't care. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, so let's go ahead and let's open this up for callers. Um, and and I know we've got Jessica Alexander uh, looking to join in right now. Claire Jeffords had call, uh, called in a while ago. So guys, um, a few different things. Hit share. Sharing's caring. I like to promote that like all across the board. Me too. Uh, hitting like is okay, but hitting share really helps spread the word. Um, and then feel free to call in. So we're going to have Donna, I'm going to have you exit out, and then I'm going to call you on Messenger. Okay. And then we'll have your voice online. And then uh, callers will be able to join the call, hit the green and white join button, and uh, you guys can join the call and, and ask Donna your questions. Okay. So you ready for Bye. this Bye. See you all soon. We'll talk soon. Okay, anyway. perfect. Okay. Bye, Joseph. And happy birthday. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's get, okay, so Donna's off. I'm going to call her over here on Messenger. Um, let me go, Messenger. And for everybody listening, you guys can go ahead and call in now. Um, and we will have Donna join us. And so you guys can ask her questions. And hopefully this holds up. Let's see call on her so uh feel free let's see if who's still on here april if you're still on i'm gonna approve you to call in hey donna are you able to hear me let's see that means you should be able to hear me let me see and raise the volume here are you able to hear me i can hear you good okay perfect okay so we've got the sound here and we've got uh april calling in and then for you guys uh, calling in, uh, feel free to hit the call, uh, join the green and white join button. Um, we'll throw you into the queue and then we'll get you guys on. It's too loud where I'm at. Bummer. Okay, well then, well, call in anyhow. <laughs> and then, then uh, I knew I saw Jessica, I saw Claire and a few others. So uh, go ahead and join in the call. And uh, and then we'll be able to open that up. So we're waiting for people to get back to, oh, here we go. Let's add Jessica Alexander in. So me and Jessica, we get in a crazy conversation. She can't, I don't think, hear me right now, so this is perfect. Uh, <laughs> we get into crazy conversations. So. And then Rachel's calling in too, so we'll get some calls coming in here. Let's see. Inviting, inviting. So in the meantime, uh, for you guys watching, hit the share button and feel free to join in on the call. Uh, it's taken a while to get Jess gone. So yeah, so this is a whole like experimental thing. I kind of played with this last week when we had Nick Slavic on. And so we had Nick Slavic and Nick May. I don't know what's going on with Jessica. Jessica, let's try you in a little bit. Let's try April. And then Jessica, feel free to call back. Um, for you guys on your phones, uh, the phone should be in, um, yeah, should be in horizontal mode and then hit the green and white button and it should be able to join in. So we've got Rachel calling in. Let's see how this one goes. For years, uh, when I worked at my first lighting company, we had, um, why is it doing that? Don't you just love Facebook? You know, it's got a lot of benefits. <laughs> it's a lot of hate relations. It, it really is. It's For live. Sure. It's live, so it's kind of like when a when a news anchor goes live from the street. Um, in the newsroom, it's pretty consistent. But once you go out in the street, you might have those people jumping around in the background. <laughs> there could be a car accident, you know. Oh, it gets bad. Yeah. Let's try Rachel again. Let's see. Invite. Come on, Rachel. So, I feel Rachel. like who, who used to do that yeah. one? Come, uh, come on down. Was that Bob Barker? That was Bob Barker on The Price is Right, wasn't it? I think so. Come on down. I have a show called Card Sharks. Have you ever heard of Card Sharks? Back no. in the 80s. 
forget who the host was, but it was one of those crazy shows, uh, game show. Oh, that's cool. I I yeah. was a I was a child actor. Oh, there's yeah. Rachel. Cool. I so we got Rachel on. Hi, Donna. Hi, how are you, Rachel? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We were texting late last night, talking about how excited we were about today's show. Happy uh, birthday. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm, yes. walking, I'm walking my daughter to school. It's, it's school time. So. So you're walking her to school right now? Yeah. Talking? <laughs> yeah, there is. How old is she? Put, put her on. India, yeah, can you say hi? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I just wanted to hop on and say welcome to the show. We all love Joseph, and we're so excited about this new format. Happy birthday, Joseph. This is wonderful. Thank you. What a great way to kick off your new year. And yes, yes. So, Donna, I love yeah, the... We're, we're um, gonna, I'll have to throw in my big party. I'm going to go today and shop for a bunch of brooches and put them on oh, i love good. that idea i've been looking for an idea to do for clients and i think that's super awesome so well, i'm going to go do well, that today it's perfect because you could put you could take a ten dollar bottle of champagne yeah. and put a ten dollar brooch on it it looks like it's worth a million bucks i know right? i and know then I remember who gave it to them. i know <laughs> and i'm going to do i love vintage so i think it gives me an excuse to go vintage shopping Yes, and so that's a bottle that they can keep. It's, it's a gift that gives, keeps on giving because they can use the bottle as, you know, some kind of design. You know, put a really cool topper on it and, you know, put it somewhere in your house. And, but, yeah, so, so you can get a bottle of Dom Perignon and you can get a bottle of Ruth and, you know, really dress it up. Yeah. But the thing is, so you put your signature on it because someday you might be famous and you're going to have something that's really worth a million bucks. Well, uh, I don't know if you've caught, so uh, Rachel and Dixie have a um, a Facebook Live, and they've got Facebook groups, uh, Design and Style, Design and Style 2, and um, they promote visibility. So they've got, how many followers do you guys have now in your group, Rachel? We have 1,600 interior designers now. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. they're constantly empowering people to step outside of their comfort zone and go get visible. Help grow your business. Um, and I mean, I, we're we're like constantly on each other's stuff. Um, uh, Samantha uh, Parker is on here as well. Um, uh, hopefully, she can join us. Um, again, big women's empowerment. Um, just promoting people to kind of. Break those barriers and get out and go go live life to the fullest. Um, and it's it's just been amazing getting to know all these people. Uh, Rachel and Dixie, we're, we're, we're I've been in Rachel's uh, bedroom uh, yes. via live. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. You have you well, hijacked I like your group. Yeah. Hijacked her. Uh, hijacked her my uh, high point up, event. Her high point. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't. We shouldn't be having this much fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna watch a little bit, and then I ha I'm recording a podcast episode today, so I have to oh, get ready. Awesome. And yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I'm super excited. Congratulations on the new format. Thank you. Thank All right, you. you guys. Thank you, Rachel. And I'm definitely going to join your, your group. Oh, please okay. do. We'd love to have you. And we'd love to have you yeah. on the podcast, Thank too. You. Come on the that podcast. Would be great. Okay. All right. Okay. Joseph, yes. can you kick me right. off? Because I can't figure out. Yeah, I'll kick you off. Okay. Bye, okay. guys. <laughs> and then uh, Jessica is calling in. So let's see if Jessica is still there. April, let's give you a shot again. And then, Jessica, uh, if you want to call back in, and for everybody in the meantime, um, go ahead and hit the green and white uh, video button and join in the call, and you'll be able to talk with Donna as well. So, uh, yeah, Rachel and Dixie, amazing. We we talk like once a week. Um, <laughs> we're at least Stay once a week. Uh, well, she she her house is amazing. Uh, she's 
she's got like her house is just like it's it's full of vignettes is what it is i mean like oh. so every different time i'm like which part of the how big is your house <laughs> like it's crazy so, she lives in california yeah yeah and so she's she'll go live from different spots and and like i swear her house is just a movie set because like you can't have that many different looks in one room or in one <laughs> one house. It's crazy. Well, that takes a special person to pull that off. So I want to see her house someday. Let's see, <laughs> Jessica. If you're there, go ahead and um and join back in. And I know that Claire was trying to call in, so go ahead and give that one a shot. <laughs> Howard is is watching right now too. So uh, people, feel free to hit the green and white. Uh, icon Facebook made some changes, so I don't know how that's impacting you guys today. But um, uh, there should still be the little green and white icon. Hit that and join in on the call. Oh, hey, Mike! Mike, uh, feel free to join in. Do you know Mike Reagan? I don't know. Maybe the name sounds really familiar. Mike, I'm Mike. If I don't know you, I want to know you. Yeah, feel free to call <laughs> in, Mike. So. Um, <laughs> So now you were sharing that, uh, so uh, at the Dallas Show House, you guys did the, um, uh, you guys set that up, and then you guys are also then setting up vignettes of kind of a taste of? Yes, yes, yes. So for the January Dallas market, uh, there'll be a, 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 probably about 10 of the designers are doing vignettes at the new spaces in the Dallas Market Center. And so we'll have like little, we'll recreate the, the show house in, in, a, in a different way, you know, like I'll have a chandelier that was in my hallway over, you know, some kitchen stuff, and, and uh, so I'll have a little vignette in my kitchen, I think uh, Dan's going to have a vignette in his hallway, and we've got, like, Ruthie, Ruthie stalls in, we've got... Oh, uh, Ruthie was uh, calling in a little while ago, hopefully she'll be able to call back. We've okay, got so. Kim on the line. So. Uh, uh, Kim has a, a weekly podcast, uh, weekly Facebook live talk show as well. Um, oh, and so hello. we were actually last night playing with a bunch of the new features. So <laughs> hi, Kim. <laughs> Joseph and Donna. Hello. Hello. So, Welcome. So, thank you. So first of all, I have to say happy birthday. Joseph, wow. And I saw that your sister posted it's it's a big number. Yeah, the four O. Yeah. <laughs> now see I'm I'm holding at thirty nine. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people do uh, a lot of people do age different uh, uh, their years tend to build at different rates, I guess. Well, well you still look twenty-nine, <laughs> Joseph. You don't look right. twenty-nine or forty. That, that, and you act like you're like nineteen. So that's <laughs> Dude, right. I do though. I say, I say that in a really good way. <laughs> so don't and you know what I'm giving you for your birthday? Huh? Beer beard bobbles. Oh man. <gasps> oh no. <Beard. laughs> People have been trying to get me to do that one. I do I need to get like design wall ones. Oh, that's a good more. idea. <laughs> Taking marketing to the next level. Yeah. Uh, and kind of speaking of Rachel and Dixie, yesterday they, they wrapped up, they did a year in review, and they had a bunch of the people that have been on mm -hmm. their uh, their program and uh, kind of pushing uh, visibility. And um, I I've messed up the time. And so I pulled <laughs> up to SoCo in Costa Mesa, on my motorcycle and I went live right away from my motorcycle and they're like oh man what is this guy doing <laughs> that is so you Joseph it's perfect I can't think of anything better <laughs> so that person so, can go right anywhere right yeah no definitely yeah so Donna so, welcome to the show it's so nice to meet you Thank you, and it's so nice to meet you, too. I'm so excited to be on Joseph's show. I've been a big fan of his, and, yeah. you know, I just was really thrilled when he asked me to be on. I think it's great. I know he inspires me every day, that's for sure. And uh, he's such yeah. a trooper. We were having issues last night. Um, at, I was actually in bed, and I get a text mess or a, a Facebook messenger saying, we're working on your issue. Do you have time to talk? And so Joseph was right there helping us uh, 
try to solve a problem. <laughs> <laughs> just if your dedication is amazing. On top of everything else. I know. I asked Joseph last night, I said, Joseph, do you ever sleep? I, I, I said the same thing. So many different directions. <laughs> I said the same thing, Donna. I was exhausted. And he's just like, <laughs> chip. I, I mean, granted, we do have a little bit of a time zone difference. But I was, I don't know if you could tell Joseph, but I was just like, I kind of just quit talking after about 9 p.m. And that was kind of, <laughs> kind of a struggle, but. Uh, well, still. so Kim has a, a guest on today, Liza, uh, Liza Jones, right? Right. Uh, and, and so Facebook made a bunch of changes. And so Liza messaged me and said, hey, Joe, we're having trouble. We're going to go live tomorrow and we can't figure it out. Can you help out? So I was like, oh, man, Facebook made changes? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go figure it out. So. <laughs> I am. I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, so okay. East Coast. Is yeah. Snow that way? Um, actually, we got a little dusting overnight. I'm I'm really looking forward to a big snow, but um, it's it's a little too early. I feel like our weather doesn't hit our bad weather doesn't really hit until the beginning of the year. Seems like after Christmas. Mm. Yeah. So well, Joseph, I was in New York this past weekend, and we got snow in New York. We got snow uh, in Texas. On I heard. Saturday, on Saturday, we got snow in New York. So. I, isn't that crazy? It was. I I can't believe the South was getting snow the way they did. Yeah. I, bet, I think I that know, would be fun. I'm like, yeah. okay, I go all the way to New York to see snow, and they get in Texas. So that was. <laughs> Well, what's the deal? But then Saturday, it, it was a beautiful snow in New York. So oh, I got my Christmas, my Christmas spirit going. <laughs> exactly. So just I, I oh. your, your neck of the world, too, and, and it gets cold. I know. I've been in Pennsylvania. And it's a beautiful it, state. It does. But you know what, Donna? My motto is there's no bad weather, just bad clothing. So if you dress appropriately, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's perfect. Yeah, I, I used to ride horses. I used to have a couple horses and that was what they talked about at the barn. Like you could ride in any weather as long as you were dressed appropriately. And I thought that really fits for all all times because you know, there's a rain gear, there's yeah. snow gear, so yeah. So anyway, yeah. um, one last thing before I hop off, Joseph, um, I wanted to mention that Dana said, and I think Dana might still be watching. I'm not sure. She said she had the same issue with someone like trying to connect an iPhone to an Android yesterday. Oh, okay. So, but okay. I don't yeah, understand. We're trying to figure out the, the Facebook issues and, and, uh, because we've got our platform. I know that we make our changes at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we discover the problems. <laughs> so it's, it's Facebook. They're, they're working on their stuff. But, uh, but we yeah. get to do these things. And this is pretty awesome. And, right. and this isn't even really how it was meant to be used. But uh, we keep pushing those boundaries and, and uh, right. making it ours, you know? So. Well, please know that I greatly appreciate your help. I'm going to um, jump off. Or actually, if you can kick me off, that would be better. <laughs> because I always kind of get tangled up in trying to get off. But um, again, happy birthday, Donna. Welcome. I look forward to you. Um, seeing you every Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. And I look forward to meeting you one of these days. Absolutely. I do as well. So you guys have a good day and I'll keep watching here. All right. Thanks, Kim. Okay, see you later. Bye. Uh, so uh, for other people watching, I know we have Mike and we had... Um, I would love to, um, I know I was talking with Michael last night, Michael Bauer. Um, so um, hopefully we can get him on too. And, oh, I hope so. Yeah. I love Michael. Uh, Michael. Michael and me have hearing issues, just so you know. I, I know, but we, when we met up in, uh, in Dallas, <laughs> that was so crazy that your earring fell off and then it like got stuck in your, in your jacket. That was, <laughs>
me, you can help me out. <laughs> he probably does, though. He probably does. Um, for you guys watching, go ahead and hit the green and white button and join the call. We've got Donna Moss on, um, and you can ask her questions about uh, her time on HGTV, her, um, uh, the Della Show House. Um, you guys are setting up the vignettes at uh, the, the World Trade Center in Dallas. Um, ask her about her career and and um, just say hi. So we got Audra calling in. Audra, I'll throw you on right now. So I sent Audra the invite. Audra's everywhere too. She's uh, highly visible and she just launched a Facebook Live. Um, oh, that one didn't go through. Let's see what happens. Uh, Teresa, let's go Teresa then. Um, so yeah, Audra's got, she's highly visible, uh, um, and then spreading out way beyond Orange County. Uh, she's heavily involved in, uh, kitchens and baths and, and just, just tearing it up. And she's got the cutest little dog and her little dog is on, on all of her shows as well. Audra, <laughs> we'll get back to you. We're trying to get I think, Teresa on the line now. There we go. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Hi, Teresa. Are you there? Hi, Donna. I was calling to tell my aunt happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this, is, this is turned into the Joe. Joe, uh, my birthday crashed our our live show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but it's so perfect. This will be a birthday that you will remember forever. <laughs> it will. It will. Oh, we lost Teresa. Let's try to join, get Audra on. Let's see, Audra, I'm sending you the invite again. Uh, just hit the, the accept button. Decline. That's weird. Let's see. I don't know. Well, it might be just you and me, Joseph. We're just going to have to party here by ourselves. You know, we can't get these people figured out how to get them on it might be well for you guys <laughs> calling in uh we'll be on for about 10 more minutes so feel free to to join in audra um okay well um feel free to join in uh hit the little green and white button um so uh, I, and then for you guys watching hit the share button uh share this with others this is kind of a new format we're uh we're launching uh, uh designer chats and this will be, you guys will be able to call in and talk with just some of my friends in the design industry. Um, and uh, next week we've got, um, um, oh man, Sandra Funk. Uh, we've got Jonathan Adler lined up. Uh, Bobby Burke, who just got, uh, just announced he's going to be on the new series, uh, uh, Queer Eye for the Stro uh, Straight Guy. Um, we've got, who else? Philippe Stark lined up. Uh, we've got uh, Candace Olson. Candace Olson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kelly Ellis, Aaron Valenisich, looking to get Dan Foley on. Um, who else? Oh, so um, Joanna Gaines, if you're listening, we're, <laughs> we're like so close. So hopefully this is a little nudge, but hopefully Joanna Gaines. Um, who else? You know, now, Joseph, now Dan and I are going to do a designer chat at the Dallas market during, during our vignette. So you need to come to the Dallas market and get him to do a live chat right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That might be a bit of flying around, but I'm quite yeah, used to you it. You're, you're such a jet setter, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be fun to hang out with Dan again. So. Yeah, Dan's fun. And he's actually up for an award, and I'm the presenter at the Arts Awards, the, that's like the, um, um, oh my gosh, the, the big gala for it's like the Academy Award for designers and manufacturers and, and all that. The Arts Awards is in January at, at the Pinnacle during Market. I'm one of the presenters, and I'm the presenter for Dana Foley's award. He's up for, I think he's up for uh, Product Designer of the Year. Oh, wow. So I'm hoping that he wins so I can give him the award. Would that be awesome? Nice. Yeah, I know. He was doing a lot of stuff with uh, Evine. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, I know he's been cranking out some product design. Yeah, yeah. Eddie and I'm not, I'm not sure what all, but he, he's out there. Yeah. And he's, he's such a hate. He is so fun. He is. We are. <laughs> 
So I'll share too. Well, uh, guys, we've got a little bit of time, so feel free to call in, hit the little green and white button, hit the share button and share this. Um, I was out at Modernism Week and I went to uh, dinner with Rachel Donay and she's like, oh, come out, come over and meet up. I've got a meeting uh, with this designer in Palm Springs. So we go I'm sitting there. I, I recognized him, but I didn't quite recognize him. Um, and it was me, Rachel Donay, and Rachel's uh, camera guy. And so we're just sitting there, and um, and I don't, I wasn't wearing a design wall shirt. And so, um, so we all kind of introduced real quickly. And him and Rachel are talking, and um, and we're like halfway through the the meal, and he's like, you know, I'm sorry. He's like, I don't didn't catch your name, and I was like, oh, Joseph Hecker, design wall. And he's like, oh my god. He's like. <laughs> Aaron, uh, Aaron Valenisich is at my house right now. He's like, uh, he's like, we, we, and we just kind of, we just started going. Like, oh um, my gosh, yeah. And once, and once you get him started, you can't get him stopped. He's like, okay, shut up, Dan. Quiet. <laughs> Let me say a word. <laughs> it was. But yeah, well, actually, you know, well, I, well, I'm kind of working possibly with Dan on maybe doing building or remodeling a house for modernism, not this year, but maybe next year. Oh, okay. So, yeah, keep that on your radar. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, my husband and I built homes in Palm Springs back in the 80s for, like, three years. Let me see. So, so we kind of have a, a connection there with Palm Springs. Yeah, uh, we've been going out to no, – uh, April, there should be a little – you have to call in from your phone, and there would be a little green and white button at the bottom of your screen. Um it's it's a white button with green on it, and you hit that, and you'll be able to join in on the call. So, and Mark, Mark, uh, feel free to call in. Uh, Mark McDonough, um, uh, tastefully inspired and tastefully curated, and Mark is all over the place. Uh, we'll tastefully, work... Mark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, Mark, feel free to call in. Um, and then Rachel, good advice: turn your phone horizontal, otherwise you end up coming into the screen all crooked. So. Um, <laughs> Well, well, Joseph, another thing I'm going to get you for your birthday is a new T-shirt. I noticed on your Facebook post the other day, like, for four years in a row, you're in the same T-shirt. I don't know where that – I don't know why Facebook only went back. I might have too many photos, but I – these shirts are only this year. Um, but, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know why they picked – it made it look like – and it's the same photo. It is literally the same picture. Uh, that uh, they just used on the, like the last couple of years, it was crazy. Yeah, they, but they don't know what they're doing. I think yeah, I do need doing. a white shirt though, because then my beard kind of gets lost in the whole oh, thing. Yeah. So. so how long have you been growing that beard? This is one year. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. My kids Good though. Job. Good job. <laughs> it's <laughs> the lack of shaving. Let's see. We got Rod. Uh, Rod calling in. That's Rod usually joins in real quickly so this this should work pretty easily um uh but yeah this was this was not shaving for a year um oh and sue firestone sue if you if you want join on the call uh, so um yeah this was not shaving and then then and my team was like joe you need to shave you know this isn't professional looking and i was like i was like but now it kind of stuck yeah, now I get out places and people are like, oh, the design wall guy. So I think I'm stuck with it for a while. So we wait, got. Wait, wait, wait till you start getting the braids and the, the, the jewels, then they're, they're definitely going to know you. Well, the that did happen at Modernism last time. Uh, this guy was just standing there braiding my beard. And, uh, and he was like. He's... Oh, I think I saw you there. Did you? Was your beard... Were you in a, like a plaid suit? No, no, no. But I yeah. was there. Actually, Rod's on. Uh, Rod's on with us. But I gotta share that. Um. So, so I, I'm out in Dallas. Uh. Um. Uh. Jeffrey Johnson texted me that Monday and was like, "Hey, are you going out to uh, Dallas Design Week?" And I said, "No, should I?" And he said, "Yeah." So I booked a ticket. So I get out there and I don't know. I've never been before. I don't know. But hey, if if that's where you're saying I gotta be, then I'm I'm gonna be there. So ran into Michael. Michael invited me over to World Trade Center. Run into you. Um, now I texted Kelly afterwards, and I was like, um, 
uh, uh, met Donna out at Dallas Market. So uh, Kelly's like, Joe, you're actually really excited about this. You met Donna at uh, Christopher Kennedy's compound for Modernism Week. <laughs> I know we met, but I don't think we connected. Yeah. There was so much going on. There was well, so much going on. And the backstory on that one was, and sorry about this, Rod, you kind of got the middle of our conversation. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, so we we had just got done. All the designers had got done, and now the, the guests were showing up, like the, you know, the designer night party, you know, when you get all the building done, and now it's kind of, you know, we all start drinking. And um, so... So we had a couple of bottles of whiskey, and, and but those weren't what was being served. So we we hid our bottle of whiskey, and then we lost it. So um, <laughs> so we had like a couple of floating bottles of whiskey. So uh, when I messaged Kelly, she was like, Joe, you've met Donna before. Um, she was like, you guys were taking shots from the bottle of whiskey. And I Wait was like, a minute. I, was? I guess so. I don't remember <laughs> much, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think you're hallucinating because I probably would not have been taking shots of whiskey. I would have been flat out on the floor. Oh man! Well, yeah, that was that was a Kelly. Where she's like, you've already met Donna. I was like, ah, I'm bad with names, numbers, and what day of the week we're currently in right now. <laughs> but hey, Ron, how's it going, man? Happy birthday, Joe! Thank you. Yeah, you you don't you don't look it. I don't and, look and, like it's my birthday. And, 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 and <laughs> I'm not believing the fact that you, you, you only have one t-shirt, dude. I know, right? You wash that damn thing every night. I got right? six of them. We got... <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke, Joe. You don't have to prove it. Of all my design wall shirts. <laughs> Is that your closet behind you? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, come out of the closet, Joe. Bit. Um, I also did leave an entire backpack's worth of shirts on the 14 freeway. When I learned that you can't ride a motorcycle and have the zipper at the top, you've got to have the zipper off to the side, and I add a wire tie. I got to LAX, and I was like, oh, my backpack, nice and light. What the heck? Everything must have settled. And I take the backpack off, and, like, everything was gone. So oh, this is not God. just a design show. Huh? This is not just a design show. Now there's road safety as well involved. <laughs> it was it was guerrilla marketing. It was <laughs> well, somebody somewhere out there has got a bunch of illegal design wall shirts that could be put to some evil use somewhere. You know what? I'm just glad that I had the shirts. That and a Halloween beard, and, and I'm sitting. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing it was a. Dirty underwear in your backpack. That would be disgusting. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't unhear that. Um, yeah, I don't even want to visualize that. Right? Donna, please, no, stop. Should, please. I, should I crack into the underwear drawer? No, no, no. 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 It's, it's, wait a minute. It's, wait a minute. It's, is that that tro top blue drawer? <laughs> This this whole thing is a Joe's blue period. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, I am impressed though, Joe, that your your t-shirt brand color matches the actual drawer that you have your underwear in. This is um so we are accepting sponsors for better vignettes. Uh, this was oh, no, all Walmart. <laughs> I mean, brand integrity and consistency all the way. So thumbs I up for that. <laughs> and, and I love the sign behind you, can't adult today. Yeah, forget adulting. That sucks. <laughs> Even though you're 30 now, you never will be an adult. I don't know like... who determined. You know what? I'll tell you, uh, this whole adult thing was utter bullshit. Uh, when we were kids, it seemed like this adult was like this. People had their shit together. Man. The older I get, the more I just realize, like, it just gets worse with age. <laughs> now, you, 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 get a, you have a choice. You, you, you have no choice in getting older, but you have a choice of growing up or not. So you, know, you get to uh, Very good point there. Very good point. So, so, so it's, it, Donna, it comes, it comes from three years of doing a baby boomer show. So <laughs> no, no, that's just 
just the experience. Listen, I, 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 I don't want to monopolize your time. Donna, great, great to meet you. I've been watching the whole hour. And I had just a question because a lot of the people that are on here are designers versus like end users. And I'm curious because I know you've been in, in the industry and I won't out you as on how many years, but I know you've been in the industry a long time. And I'm curious, what for you has changed? Today versus before, what are some of the challenges that you are encountering or that you deal with that you didn't deal with back in the whatever number of years it was? Well, you know, I've been in the design business for about 30 years. So a lot, a lot, a lot has changed. But for, for I think me and most designers, it's the Internet. It's like now it seems like all of our clients kind of feel like, their designers as well and everything can be you know researched and purchased and everything mm -hmm. through the internet so you know we have to be a little more savvy to you know find those unique designs or unique products that that not everybody has access to i think that's the hardest part right now is, is you know the the ability for you know, everybody to find everything on the internet, seeking out new and unique products. So it's a curse and, and, and a blessing in, in, at the same time, right? For sure. For sure. We can't live without it. it it's just like the program today, you know, it's like, it's a, a great product, uh, 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 show, but trying to get on it sometimes is, 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 is the problem. So it's like, you know, learning to work your way around, you know, the, the internet and the, the good things and the bad things. So that that's I think the biggest change that I and most of the designers I talk to too. They they um you know it's like you you have to have the internet. You have to have the accessibility. But then you know how do you you know bring things to clients that they can't find themselves? Well, and and, and, and I don't know if you agree with me. For, I worked for uh, uh, the last lighting company I worked in house for was Alger Lighting Culver City in 2008 and um and you know surprisingly we, we had a fax machine and several of our vendors only communicated through fax yeah. that's crazy that was 2008 <laughs> how did we survive back then yeah what kind of machine did you what kind of machine was that uh, what yeah, what kind of machine? Right? <laughs> right like a, a dial tone and a like these are crazy things but we and then, and then uh, working with Italian companies, uh, we would get their their blueprints, and they would show up in these tubes. And these are life size hand drawings were their blueprints. That was amazing. Like it, it was cool as an art form, but like wow. very impractical. You know, and in, in today's world, just you know, very it, Italian, it's done yeah. by phone. Yeah, email. I mean, we were. Setting up for this, we're doing screenshots and shooting over. And even though it right. was, it was tough, man, the information was instant. You know, so uh, and, and and I think I think the internet, the internet also. I don't know if you guys agree with me. It sets unrealistic expectations. I mean, we talk about the benefit of people watching things like HDTV and all the shows. And I remember being on the one of the very first designer challenges on HGTV by Pytown, and it it, it it sets unrealistic expectations. So I think part of the stuff that we have to do as designers is never forget that we're educators and we have to actually manage the expectations of the client from the beginning without really offending them because they've been basically fed this whole thing about move the bus and in 30 minutes, their kitchen yeah. is done. Yeah. Yeah. The, in, the instant, you know, gratification of our society, you know, they think they do think because of a lot of the shows that, that you can have your whole kitchen remodeled in 30 minutes. <laughs> And right. so, yeah, you're, you're so right, educating the client to realize that, you know, anything worth anything takes time, and you have to be patient. Yeah. Wait that extra three days for the right tile instead of just settling for something, because you got a lifetime of using that space. So, uh, Donna, thank you so much for being on, Joe. Thank you. Great show again, as usual. And I'm just going to bug off here, so let give somebody else a chance before you guys close off. Have a great day, both of you. Okay, great. Nice Thanks, Ron. So nice to talk to you. You too. Let me see. We do have, I don't know if she'll be on there. I'll, I'll try April. Otherwise, we'll, we'll close out. Um,
let's see if, if April can join on. Um, um, and so, uh, and, and last night I was sharing with Kim about how we were talking about uh, co-hosting. So, uh, oh, so we do have April. Hi, April. I didn't expect that. Sorry. Oh, it kind of threw you on there, huh? <laughs> yeah, you did, but that's all right. I didn't know it was going to work, but that's okay. We never do. We never really do. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, April. Hi, Donna. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm all right. I'm making some tea for my daughter. She uh, hasn't made it to school yet today. So I'm trying to baby her a little bit, but yeah. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got on here. I'm a little uh, uneasy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why you do this on your birthday, but that just says how dedicated you are, I guess. I mean... I, I get to hang out with Donna. I get to hang out with all my friends. Um, yeah. And then later on, I get to go do the family dinner stuff. So, yay. Oh, yeah. Like, how cool Not is this? Yet. It is. I want to hang out with my friends more. I, I want to work a little less. <laughs> hang out more. So, I don't really have any questions. But, um, Donna, you're awesome. I adore you. Everything you do. You, do I just adore so well thank you April now are we friends on Facebook are you the April we are the, yeah, yeah we are yes. yeah so we follow each other and uh, I think you you live in oh, California what? right I'm in Utah actually oh, oh yeah. Utah okay but yeah I, I knew we were friends I can't see who's coming across I, I can only see Joseph that's all right face, but Oh, thank you. But thank it's you a for weird angle for me. I'm like, I don't like this angle. Maybe spin it around. That's a little better. No, that's not. <laughs> well, you have the Christmas tree back there. Well, yeah, um, I'm trying to finish my own Christmas today, and I need to go shopping. And uh, yeah, my my daughter, she just doesn't go to school. So that's my first and then, uh, April, if you could share with us, because uh, uh, um, uh, Design Talk is, by you going live, you are going live in front of the thousands of people that are watching, and we'll watch I know. it as well. So would you mind plugging your business as well? What is it that you, uh, tell the audience what it is that you do? So um, I'm a pretty uh, real person, so I'm not going to really... And, and I don't, I don't do well tooting my horn. So that well, could be something that holds me back. But um, I've been in the design industry. Yeah. What was that? Today's the day to toot, toot your horn. <laughs> All right. Um, I've been in the design industry, like, I guess since 2000. And I count college in that because um, when you're in college, you're in the industry. At least I was. Um, so I've been in since about 2000 and 2004, I got picked up by a builder and I worked for him for four years and I designed um, houses for him and spec homes and models. And I kind of got thrown in more to the construction side of it, which I absolutely loved. Um, I'm a little bit of an introvert, so it was easier for me than, I, I don't know what to do with my phone. I'm holding it at a really awkward ang angle. No worries. Um, but and I'll share I, that uh, you're not alone on the introvert thing. There are so many people that I talk to that are that yeah. are people that have been on HGTV, uh, Bravo. They're in magazines. They're Facebook livers. Uh, they they've got podcasts. And uh, and this is is kind of funny. This is uh, uh, there's a lot of introverts in an extrovert world. Uh, you're not yeah, there's, there's actually, true. Yeah. There's so anyway, I think a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> I can be somewhat extroverted, but I'm better one on one with people. Um, and I, I actually love what I do because I can be one on one with people. Uh, in parties, I like to shrink and be a wallflower. I've been accused of that, but um. Yeah, so I did, I worked in that industry until 2008 when the market crashed. I'm one of those designers that lost their house, lost everything. And then oh, I just no. kind of, I just kind of, um, I kept doing my freelance 
And then I've done all kinds of odd jobs. And um, to pull myself out of it, I was a single mom too. So I have one daughter left at home and I have a son who's somewhat on his own. Um, he, he's, he's in California. But um, yeah, I'm just, I, I work as a window covering specialist for JCPenney part-time. And that's my supplemental income. And sometimes, I don't know if it keeps me from launching my business further. Uh, I've been doing a lot of fabric design kind of on the side. I'm getting ready to start testing the market with some of my designs. I've always wanted to do product design. So I'm kind of that in the shadows artist that's working on the sides. And then I, I have my few clients here and there. So that's kind of where I am at right now. But yeah, I, I love everybody. I kind of live vicariously through all the beautiful work that uh, you guys do. I met Ke Kelly Ellis at Market in August, and and then I just eat up all your videos, Donna. You're adorable, and I love your laugh. I love like Aww, how real you are you. because I, I I just love real people that you know that they just laugh. You know, you have to have a sense of humor too, and and yours is great. So, oh yeah. Well, you, you know what? Um, the way I really got my start in the design world is by doing show houses. And that's why when this traditional home show house came, uh, came a part of my life, you know, I jumped at the chance because I know that's what gave me my start is working with other builders that were doing show houses. And of course, you have to kind of give away a lot of your services, but that's a great way you know, if you're trying to, you know, get your name out there in your community is by any kind of show house that you can do, whether it's a Christmas tour or, you know, like a, a magazine or, you know, just whatever, a charitable organization. The more you get your name out there, the more people are going to know you. And I, I've seen some of your work on Facebook and I know you you're a great designer and, and there's, you know, just don't give up. Just keep working hard because, because you'll get there. You I, will. You'll get there. I plan to. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of ways with to, with social media and stuff. For for those that are watching now and those that will watch later, um, so the power of uh, like social media. So you can you can show people what your design style would be by creating mood boards, by sharing things that appeal to you, so that people can get a sense of the sort of things that you're drawn to. Um, uh, you can reach out to your local showrooms and offer to stage a vignette at their showrooms, uh, uh, especially some of the local companies, the flooring companies and other local businesses. They don't have um, uh, retail designers coming in and doing their merchandising very well. So it leaves an opportunity yeah. for you to reach out to them. I it's, a, well. it's an interesting market. Um, I have attempted to do all of what you've discussed. It's, it, Utah's a different market, uh, and I'm not really going to go into that, but it, and it is kind of all who you know anyway, and yeah. I get that. So, yeah, I haven't really given up, but I've just seen, seen that, um, like, you know, where once I had that job with that big builder and I ran his design center and, and all of that, a lot of builders, I think they, they got – scared after the crash so they'll have their wives kind of be their designers so they don't have to pay anyone you know it's, it's um, kind of a do-it-yourself community and yeah. I see it because I'm on the retail end of it and people are buying drapes they feel like because they watch HTV and they pin things on Pinterest that they're designers and they'll come in and be like well this is what I'm trying to achieve and, and sometimes I'm like oh no 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 honey you, you can do this look but this is the color you're working with you know and every now and then I really feel like people appreciate that advice, but uh, it's a really interesting market. It's well, really fortunately, that's because you're in the retail space, and so it gives. So you are contending with the person that can DIY it, but oh yeah, but by going out on your own, then you step above that that space, and you're not competing with that. So there's uh, the 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 positive side to this is that there's room for you to appeal to a, a, a more elite client uh, and let let your day job compete with Pinterest. Um, I think we're going to try to get Mark on Thank for a you. second, but uh, he was at 5%. So um, 
We'll go ahead and uh, wrap up for the day. Yeah. Thank you, April. Thank you. Have a good to talk Have a good to day. You. Thanks, Take April. Care. Okay, bye-bye. Good luck. Bye. So you then too. That, let's, uh, so um, Donna, uh, we kind of teased, uh, kind of broke the news a little bit, uh, and then we still got to figure out if this is an actual thing, but I'd love to have you back on uh, going forward as co-host. So we'll talk about I that. I love that. I love that idea. This has been so much fun, Joseph. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So um, so uh, next week we'll have uh, Sandra Funk on and then stay tuned for upcoming um, upcoming guests. But some of the people that we're, that we're talking with, uh, it, it could be really fun. And then when we get Bobby Burke on, we'll get to hear all about his uh, upcoming. So he's doing this on Netflix, which I don't, don't know if he caught. Oh. Yeah. So that ability for that to reach so many people and replays and, and on demand instead of just, you know, trying to catch that episode and T-bowing it or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I think it's pretty innovative that Bobby's going to be on the, the new season of Queer Eye for a Straight Guy on Netflix. So, um, so did you say he's coming on next week? No, or next week is Sandra Funk. Um, Sandra Funk, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so Sandra is – is fun. Uh, hung out with her in New York, so that'll be super fun. Um, oh, I can't wait. And then we'll I'll, I'll share when we get um, uh, Bobby's looking to figure out which which Tuesday works for him. Um, and and yeah, we've got a whole lineup. So everybody's just kind of locking in their dates. So that should be pretty fun, though. Well, I think it's, I think you're on the map. I think Design Talk Live is definitely on the map. But I'm so excited to be a part of it. And it's just so much fun. And I love talking to all the guests. And, you know, you're, you're hilarious. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're, you make it all fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and that's our Tuesday mornings. Let's have some fun with this. Let's yeah. let's combine yeah. as I a mean, community. Tuesday, poor Tuesday gets lost in the world. Monday, you know, Monday, Friday, Wednesday, tough day. What is Tuesday? Tuesday is Design Talk Live Day. There you go. And then Tuesday <laughs> night can be Taco Tuesday. <laughs> we'll take care of your warnings. <laughs> yes, yes, for at least an hour of it anyway. Yeah. Or, you know, or maybe more. You never know. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on, and thank you guys for calling in. Uh, tune in every Tuesday, 8 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and then uh, call in. Get your hair and makeup done. Uh, get ready to go live with us and, and join in. Uh, the benefit, uh-huh. So when they call in live, because I can't see them, so, but you can see the caller when yeah. they call you? Yeah. Cool. Well, and then the benefit for them is, so like today, I don't know how many callers we had. We had like what, four, five or six callers. Maybe, yeah. yeah. So, so every time that we have a caller call in, that network is expanded. So today we will have reached, uh, we'll probably clear around 10,000 people. Awesome, uh, awesome. Yeah, so everybody that called in and type, put your URL and promo your business on this because this just got went live in front of 10,000 people while we were live. And then it'll get watched tonight when people have time to rewatch it and then it'll get watched over the next several weeks. We will reach thousands of people uh, with this broadcast. So put your URL in, uh, call in, and and get on film because then it, it, it gets you in front of all of those people. Um, Rachel and Dixie say visibility. I say tell your design story. Um, this is a great way to get in front of our industry. Um, we did a, a, a prize a couple of weeks ago, and when we did our live, that got in front of, we cleared 30,000 people. So this is a great platform for you to get visible, get your business out there, throw your URL in, throw it in tonight while you're rewatching it, and get it in front of all those people. So. And, and then if you're somewhere on the highway, look for that Design Walk t-shirt that blew out of Joseph's backpack. Because that could make you famous, too. <laughs> it, might, it might have tire tracks in it. <laughs> yeah. Just wear the underwear. <laughs> Please. <laughs> So, well, thank you guys for being on. Thank you, Donna, so much. And then uh, join us next Tuesday, Sandra Funk, and then uh, 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 sign up for our Facebook live group and our, our Facebook live talk show groupies page. 
Um, <laughs> and that way you'll get the reminders on who's coming up and, and, uh, and then join in. So, all right, guys, have a great week. And thank you so much. It was so much fun. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, everyone. Let's talk again soon. All right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.